How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm John and in today's video we are going to be reviewing this Pittsburgh 105 tool set with four drawer chest. Um, I bought this a couple days ago, no, uh, yesterday um, for uh, general purpose uh, like repairs and uh, mechanic stuff, all, like little fixing things around the house and stuff like that. Um, and I've been testing it out since yesterday and uh, before I did a review on it just so I can get a feel for it because I didn't want to tell no lies or nothing like that say it's all perfect or say it's really crappy or whatever um, let me actually take this and cover off as you can see it comes with uh, like it said on the box it comes with four drawers I'm going to scoot it over um, and they all have uh, different slots and stuff in them I'm going to show you guys uh, what's in actually in them let me uh, take the tripod and move you guys up some, and like this, so you can see better. <laughs> um, but uh, real quick, I'm gonna show you guys what's so all in the box. See if it'll focus on here, uh, right there. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to look exactly what's all in the box. It was originally fifty-four dollars, but there was a coupon on the website, and it. Uh, is twelve dollars off so i got it for thirty four dollars i believe uh i don't know how the math works with that but um here's the little contents and stuff you got sockets pliers wrenches screwdrivers uh you got drill bits precision screwdrivers hex keys and electrical stuff um and that's really good for me because uh, like i said it's just for me it's just general purpose use um, the container is just plastic and uh, plastic basically it's all plastic the container is but uh, it's fine with me so I ain't got to worry about messing nothing up I can just throw it in the truck or whatever I need to do um, why is the screen so yellow let me see if I can fix this for you guys uh, okay guys so in the first drawer we have pliers um, each drawer is actually labeled I'm not sure if you guys can see that let me see no I can't do it but um, it says T1 for tray 1 uh, so the second third fourth go from T1 2 3 4 like that um, just to make it easier on the uh, actual box itself for pliers apparently these are called water pump pliers uh, these are diagonal cutters these are the mini, uh, mini diagonal cutters. Uh, these are the, uh, combination pliers, uh, the long nose pliers, needle nose pliers, and channel locks. <laughs> um, but I'm sure you guys already knew that. And, uh, it's got this little rubber coated, uh, handles on it to make it feel nice and stuff. But as you can see, the tray actually has the cutouts for everything. And you can put stuff in here uh, yourself if you want to. I actually, uh, just because I thought they should have added this in the box, they should have made it 106 items. Uh, but I think they should have added a pencil. So I just slide a, a, a little um, mechanical pencil in the back right here when I close it. That way, if you need to mark so you can, and it's in the first drawer, which makes it super simple. Um, so it's back. In the second drawer is where your sockets and your wrenches, I mean not your wrenches, your sockets and your ratchet and your uh, combination uh, little bits and stuff are. I don't know why I said but but. But um, apparently in the uh, this one, it has uh, four uh, quarter inch dry sockets and it ranges uh, from different sizes. Uh, it has a uh, three quarter, I mean three eighths uh, inch sockets and uh, three eighth inch spark plug sockets. Um, and it also has this little uh, like multi use uh, screwdriver you can use uh, for some of these little sockets like this. And if I can get any of these out, it's a snug fit. Uh, but you can put these little uh, bits on here like this or whatever. Um, and if you want to use uh, the little drill bits with it you just put this uh, little attachment Ooh, if it'll stay on the table you can put this little attachment right here on it and if you can notice the box is dirty and that's because I've been using it and also left it out in the rain last night so there's a little bit of water and stuff on it um, this is probably my most used drawer because I'm always uh, doing electrical work and wiring and stuff like that um, so you 
got your screwdrivers here and you've actually had your little mini uh screwdriver it's a ratcheting screwdriver i actually have a like a, a actual size ratcheting screwdriver so i will probably never use that um, but i'm just gonna keep it in the box uh you got your hex uh keys uh hex keys over here uh different sizes it actually you i highly doubt y'all guys can see this but there's little, if it'll focus, there's little numbers on the uh, hex keys at the top, right around here, and it shows you what size it is. This goes from a quarter, I guess it's a quarter inch to a 732, it's 50, 752, it's hard for me to see, um, but it's got different size ones, it, uh, everything is labeled so it makes it really easy for you guys. Um, right here you have a test light, uh, it you can put it on the ground and you can plug it up to something to see if a uh, wire is hot or whatever. Right here, it has a six piece uh, pre uh, precision screwdriver set. It ranges from an uh, eighth inch to a uh, 332 and uh, number one, I guess, and a number zero Phillips. Um, but this is for like, let me just grab this one as an example. For like, your, uh, if you're repairing glasses or whatever, it's, focus if you're repairing glasses or whatever it'll do that and uh this will be good for like i said repairing glasses or uh if you're like repairing a controller that's got really small screwdrivers uh screws use this right here and uh something i'm always i always use but i never have with me is wire pliers um, i've got three pairs of them but they're never around when i need them and also it comes with little crimps and stuff uh, for uh, when you're putting two pieces of wire together. Uh, if I'll stop dropping things. <laughs> um, but it just goes in here and the wire pliers go right here. And you got your standard screwdrivers. You got uh, a larger Phillips head and a smaller Phillips head. A larger uh, uh, flat head and a uh, smaller flat head. And that does it for the third drawer. In the bottom drawer, we have wrenches. It, uh, you have over here, you have um, uh, standard. It goes from a 15 to, uh, uh, I think it's uh, going to be a 11, 13. 15 to 14. And then you've got a 13, and I guess it's going to be a 12. Yeah, it's a 12. And then over here, you got your metric. You got 7 sixteenths. And it goes all the way up to a 5 eighths. I believe that's 6 5 eighths. Yeah. Um, and you also have vice grips. You have uh, the standard vice grips. And you can just press this like that and it opens. Or if you're faster with them, you just do this right here. Uh, but these are the standard vice grips. The only thing I don't like about these is the texture to them. It's really soft. Uh, not soft, but it's really like I don't know how to explain it it's slippery sort of like there's no grip to them um, and it like slips out of my hand really easy and there's also like a I guess it's like a needle nose pair of ice grips you can do the same thing where you just press this and release it um, but I'm faster with just my uh, middle finger like I can sit here and hold it and just uh well now it's too tight flick it like that <laughs> um, and the last thing in this toolbox is uh, a little uh, what's it called utility knife. Um, it's made out of I think it's aluminum because it like uh, real finicky. So metal on metal, but it might be plastic, but it's real finicky. Uh, this is probably going to be uh, something I use, but not all the time if I can get it, keep it on camera. Um, but yeah, so and it also comes with a box of blades. It comes with like seven in it. Thirty-four dollars with a discount. I think fifty-six total. Um, I'll give you guys updates. Uh, the main reason I bought this is because I bought a nineteen eighty-two Ford F one fifty, and we're repairing it, uh, restoring it. I'm going to sand it and paint it. Uh, if I can remember, I'll put a picture on the screen somewhere. Uh, I also have a video. We actually got it to crank today.
put that on Snapchat. Uh, follow me on Snapchat at JohnJB underscore 03, and you can see updates and stuff, whatever. Uh, I'm going to do, like, around the house or, like, small repairs. Like, if you're, uh, like I said, just working on a truck and you need, like, certain size sockets or whatever, I recommend this. But if you're, like, a professional mechanic, uh, it's probably not going to be the best thing for you because you probably need, like, high-grade tools or whatever. But if you're anybody like me, I would recommend this. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a thumbs up. If you have any uh, questions about this in the comments, just uh, let me know and I'll answer your comments. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.